How lucky are we? Hi, everybody. <laughs> Welcome back here to Broncos tonight. Scotty Gaines, Mike Kliss, but far more importantly, we've got George Payton, Broncos general manager, here on the show with us. George, thanks for joining us. I got to know, when you watch a game like this tonight, is it nerves, is it stress, or is it just flat-out fun? I think all three. You know, you, you, you have the nerves, you have the anxiety, you know, you, you see what you see in practice, and is that going to translate to the games? And, and so it's fun. I mean, this is what we do. Um, you're always worried about, you know, injury dynamics, if someone's going to play to their potential. But, uh, no, we love it. We love it. We love football. We love the games, and that's what it's all about. Well, I think the Broncos fans have loved this offseason. Maybe the biggest hiring in the entire NFL with Sean Payton coming to town. This is the first official kickoff for him. How confident are you in him leading this team right now? Oh, real confident. You know, spent the last eight months or so with Sean. Um, you know, we know he has a great offensive mind, but he sets the tone every day in the entire building with the staff, with the players. Uh, we all know what a great offensive mind he has, but uh, he has unique instincts. Uh, attention to detail is unmatched, and, and he's probably the most competitive coach I've ever been around. <laughs> That's a good thing. Yeah. Coaching matters, George. It does, Mike. Yeah. It certainly does. And we're going to see it with Russell Wilson this yeah. year. Yep. I think you guys obviously made the commitment. Uh, Russ was off you know whoever however you want to assign the blame for what happened last year but russ is better than what he played last year and sean payton is working towards bringing that old russell wilson back how is that uh, going i think it's been good you know russ had a really good off season uh, all the quarterbacks did uh, it's a really good quarterback room um ebbs and flows of training camp you know yeah. someday defense you know especially early in camp kind of had their way russ and the offense and the other quarterbacks have kind of had the way this past week and that's why these preseason games are so important. Feel, feel really good about Russ. The guys Russ is going to throw to, I mean, terrible news, obviously, with Tim Patrick going down and Brandon Johnson rolled up an ankle. But this wide receiver room looks to be so deep. Yeah. I mean, how much fun is it for you to put that together and to see them out on the field? We, we love the depth. You know, you can't replace a Tim Patrick, you know, K.J. Hamler, you know, what they mean to the, the team on the field, off the field. Uh, but we do like our young depth. and and. And again, that's what preseason's all about. You evaluate them at practice, but the games, you know, are what it's all about. You know, in building a roster, you always have to somewhere take a leap of faith here and there. Yeah. And at the running back room is maybe one. You're taking a little leap of faith that uh, Javante's going to be yeah. okay. Talk about We the... feel good about Javante. We feel, mm -hmm. you know, you see him in practice. He looks 100% yeah. to us. Mm -hmm. uh, Samaj P. Ryan, we feel, is a starter. And then we feel like we have a really good battle with the, with the next three, you yeah. know, with Jaleel and Ty and Batty and, and uh, you know, Jones. So um, feel good. We feel good about the depth, you know, Mike. And, and we're always looking. You know, we're yeah. looking. There's 31 other rosters. So we're looking at the depth at every position at the other rosters. That's what the scouts, you know, we evaluate our team, but we're evaluating other teams as well. What is that like to be evaluating other teams? I've got to think you sleep five minutes a night if you're doing it's that. It's a lot of tape. It's a lot of dark rooms. Uh, it's what we do. It's what we love. It's, Sean loves it, you know, but he just happens to be a really good coach. Um, but no, it's great. You know, you're, you're problem solving. You're looking to better your team. I think that's what we all we're all in it for is, is to do that and obviously win. You're, oh, I was going to say, picking your 53, George, is it the camp practices the big part of the evaluation, or is it these three preseason games yeah, I mean, that Mike, have a bigger slice? Mike, it's a full body of work. Yeah. You know, you evaluate the practices every day, how they work, how are they in the building, the day to day. You know, um, and then the games, obviously, when the lights come on, how do they perform? So full body of work. It started in the offseason program. You know, how do they work? Is it the type of a, you know, a player we want in the building, you know, on, on and off? So um, I, full body of work. George, I'd like to offer you this moment right now to take a deep breath. I know it, the season starts for the players tonight, but you've been full season for the last six months. Now that you're here, is it nice? I mean, how does this moment to be feel to be right here? Oh, tonight? it feels good, but it's it. You know, tomorrow we'll have other, you know, problems to solve. <laughs> you know, it's just uh, it's another step in the process. We love the games, uh, we love the practices, we love the process, and so it's just another step in that process. To get the coach you wanted, to get the quarterback you wanted, you had to give up something in return, and that meant a lot of top end draft picks. And that, in turn, you wonder about the depth. How, yeah. do, you th how do you think? I, I know you uh, really analyze that back end of the roster like no other GM, yeah. but how about the depth on the team? Is that a concern? Yeah. Mike, we've had 24 picks the last three years, 24 okay. draft picks, you know, with giving all those picks. That was kind of the plan early on. Um, so that, you know, we have a lot of players from those drafts. 
we were also very aggressive in free agency knowing you know, we're, we weren't going to have the draft right. capital. And so we can't do that every year. We can't go out and get a, you know, um, Ben Powers, Mike McGlinchey, Zach Allen. So th this was part of the plan, part of the process. We've got a lot of diehard Bronco fans watching this pregame show and a lot of fans in general. But what can you promise to Broncos country right here before the ball is kicked off in the 2023 season? Uh, these guys are going to be very, they're going to play hard. They're going to play fast. Uh, they're going to be highly competitive. Um, uh, it's going to be fun to watch, you know, offensively, defensively. All three phases are going to be very disciplined and, and just look forward to it. And then they're going to, you know, play in the mold of their head coach and all the coaches. So it's going to be fun. Well, George, we're so lucky to have had you on here. Yeah. I hope you have the most fun time tonight and enjoy football. Thank you so much for <laughs> I coming appreciate on. it. We really appreciate your Thanks time. Right on, George. All right, Mike.